Dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MCB Chemistry and this is an online chemistry tutorial. Get my previous videos from my personal homepage or from my YouTube channel. And we were discussing about the topic basics of stevic chemistry and uh, today in this lecture I would like to discuss with you what is geometrical isomerism for example in buta, but2ene and but2ene1 for dioic acid and method of distinguishing the geometric isomers. So our learning objectives are to understand what is geometric isomerism and uh, we will study it in, uh, in compound like both 2 in but 2 in 1 for dioic acid and also we will discuss how to distinguish the isome geometric isomers and uh, what are the relative stability of geometric isomers. Configurational isomerism can be classified into two types. One is optical isomerism, another one is geometrical isomerism. So, what is geometrical isomerism? And in geometrical isomerism, two or more compounds, you can see that two or more compounds with the same structure but differ in spatial arrangement of atoms or group of groups around a double bond so this is a, a double bond due to restricted rotation so two or more compound with the same structure compound will have have the same structure but differing spatial orientation around a double bond due to restricted rotation so it says stereoisomerism it is due to restricted rotation about double bond so this is important due to Raises due to restricted rotation about double bond and it's also called cis trans isomerism. For example, molecule of the type AB C double bond C is AB. So that is the first carbon having A and B, and the second carbon is also having A and B. Different types of atoms on same carbon and it shows geometrical isomerism so uh, this another one is abc double bond c cd type this is uh, ab on one carbon atom and cd on one carbon atom this can also show geometrical isomerism but uh, the compound of the type aac double bond c cd does not show geometrical isomerism and uh, this is uh, you know there is same carbon, a uh, same atom on one carbon, so it cannot show geometrical isomers. So, for example, cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene, they are geometrical isomers. You can see that in cis 2 butene, two methyl groups are on same side. So, this is called a cis. But in trans, two methyl groups. This methyl group are opposite sign that's called a trans -tubutene. So, in cis methyl, uh, the group or atoms or substituent oriented or locked in the same side, whereas in trans, it is locked in opposite side. So, geometrical isomerism can be arises due to restricted rotation. What does it mean? Usually, a double bond consists of one sigma bond and a one pi bond. A sigma bond is formed by head on overlap, and a pi bond is formed by lateral overlap of two p orbital. That is a usually in some cases an unhybridized orbital. Hence, uh, the rotation about double bond does not occur like a single bond. Single bond usually rotate very fast. But uh, rotation double bond is not possible because this is pi bond is formed by lateral overlap like this. You cannot break easily this one. Or rotation is restricted due to this pi overlap. Hence, the molecule usually exists in two distinguished form in pi bonded system. Whereas in single bonded system, the conformation isomers uh, we already discussed, they are you know, uh, not like uh, geometrical isomers. Geometrical isomers are very distinct each other. 
and you can see it here cis isomer and uh, is uh, different from trans isomer fundamentally different and suppose you want to convert this cis to trans uh, rotation is necessary and a uh, rotation about pi bond should break this pi bond should break otherwise you cannot get this trans isomer okay you, i hope you understood that one and uh, geometric isomers of two beauty and it exhibit uh, two geometric isomers uh, it, it will be in cis and trans form and this cis and trans as i discuss it is two distinguishable structure and in one case two methyl group can be in i in this this is in same side and in trans case it is in opposite side since it is a two different uh, distinguishable structure it shows different properties for example in this case melting point is 134 kelvin and uh, in trans case it is 167 and the boiling point is 277 for cis and uh, it is 274 for trans and you can see that uh, the melting point of trans is higher than the cis form that you can see it here what is the reason for that the the lower melting point of cis is due to its lower symmetry melting point is related to crystal structure and symmetry and usually if these two groups are in uh, you know same side it fit very poorly in crystal lattice and what is in trans this can fit very good uh, the fitting will be very good in crystal lattice for the trans case that is Uh, why it is showing higher melting point? But the uh, boiling point, but boiling point is different. Uh, boiling point uh, cis showing higher boiling point. What is the reason for that? It is due to high polarity. And uh, polarity related to dipole moment. Uh, here the dipole moment of trans will cancel each other, and it this this dipole moment. Uh, dipole of ch3 will cancel with this ch3 there there's a net zero dipole moment so it is having less polarity that is why it is showing higher boiling point okay similarly in geometric isomers of buta butuene one for dioic acid and uh, this butene two in one for dioic dioic acid shows uh, cis and trans isomer and the both are uh, distinguishable and the cis 2 butene one for dioic acid is called malic acid it is called malic acid this is the cis structure and this is called malic acid in malic acid two carboxyl groups are on same side whereas in trans butene one for dioic acid it is called fumaric acid and in fumaric acid two carboxyl groups are on opposite side and you can see that uh, the properties are different for the, these two isomers and uh, the malic acid the cis isomer shows 403 kelvin uh, melting point and 559 kelvin for fumaric acid the reason for uh, higher melting point of fumaric acid is due to is symmetric structure and uh, this symmetric structure more symmetry it can fit very well into the crystal lattice and uh, this is on same side this can this can uh, only poorly fit in crystal as like this so that is the reason for uh, higher melting point of fumaric acid next one uh, when malic acid heated above its melting point uh, that is this one malic acid this is this size number when it heated to uh, 423 kelvin and it yielded anhydride anhydride means the water molecule get removed from here and it form a lake and hydrate and fumaric acid that is this compound does not yield an hydrate unless it get strongly heated so you need a higher temperature 503 kelvin so in this reaction uh, this is an intramolecular reaction so in the for intramolecular reaction to be occurred the two carboxyl group Uh, should be very close to each other so uh, intramolecular usually occurs when reacting groups are closely each other 
Then cyclization reaction or this reaction indicates that malic acid is a cis isomer. That is why we are getting malic anhydride. So malic acid on uh, uh, dehydration it gives malic anhydride and uh, fumaric acid also gives uh, malic anhydride but it requires a uh, higher temperature to uh, undergo cyclization. Okay. And next one relative stability of uh, isomers 2 butane first in cis isomer if this is a 2 butane cis 2 butane this is the carbon the black one the, this one is uh, gray one is hydrogen and this is double bond and here in cis 2 methyl groups are on same side and the trans 2 methyl groups are on opposite side so here uh, this is the molecular model this is the c double bond c and this is ch3 2 ch3 and cis isomer this two ch3 are very close to each other whereas in the trans they are far apart right hence what happens is uh, there will be a steric strain due to crowding of two methyl group and in cis isomer so cis isomer is less stable than trans in trans, two methyl groups are far apart each other. The same behavior you can see in the case of butane one for dioic acid. In cis isomer, two bulky group, that is a carboxyl group. This is C double bond O and OH and the C double bond OH. They, these two carboxylic acids are very close in cis isomer, whereas they are far apart in trans isomer. And so what happens usually as in previous case, there will be a steric strain or crowding due to crowding in cis isomer and the cis isomer is less stable than trans one and it is possible to convert the malic acid into fumaric acid by heating but conversion of fumaric to malic, malic acid it required uh, uv radiation it, uh, it is very difficult to convert into convert fumaric into malic acid and how to distinguish the geometrical isomers? You can check the melting point of the uh, given compound or crystal. Usually, as we already seen, cis isomer is less symmetrical because two similar groups are on same side, okay, here, and does not pack well into the crystal lattice. But in trans, they fit well into the crystal lattice, and there will be an intermolecular force if they are fitting well. There will be a intermolecular force are stronger in trans and that is why it is having higher melting point. So if you are given a compound, you can distinguish whether it is cis or trans by checking the melting point. Malik because malic acid is having 4 not 3 Kelvin, whereas tra uh, trans or fumaric acid is having very high melting point 5, 59 Kelvin. So you can distinguish like that. And another method from type 1 moment you can distinguish. Uh, this uh, two cases I have given two examples is butene and one two dichloroethene. You can see that trans isomer that is uh, this one trans two butene having lower dipole moment. Do you know the reason? Because this two dipole moment, uh, uh, this dipole cancel each other and it is having zero dipole moment. Whereas this added together, two middle group added together and it is having 0.33 type of dipole, dipole moment for cis. So it is having higher dipole moment, this is having zero dipole moment. So in this second case, in the 1,2 dichloroethane, it is having very high dipole moment. This is CCL bond, this get added together and having 2.95 dipole dipole moment whereas in trans case this get cancel each other and uh, this is uh, having zero dipole moment. So in trans cases uh, generally dipole moment arises due to the substituent get cancel out each other upon vectorial addition and in summary you have learned geometrical isomerism compound with the same structure but differ in spatial arrangement of atoms around a double bond due to restricted rotation. It is also called cis-trans isomerism and both isomers show different physical properties. For example, geometrical isomerism of cis-trans butene and butene in one for dioic acids are discussed. Generally, you can see that trans isomer found to be more stable than cis 
and trends shows and different properties thank you for watching